Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you guys something very important, which is how to ask questions on Stack Overflow. How to get that first hand help you're looking for for free. You know, when you are writing a program or you are trying to design a particular uh, product and you keep on hitting these errors, it can be pretty annoying. I mean, very, very frustrating. You cross check the code, you see that everything is okay, but you can't just get that desired result. Well, the good news is there's a lot of professionals in your field on Stack Overflow waiting to give you the particular face hand help you're looking for for free. And today I'll show you guys how to get that face hand help and run out of that frustration you're always getting alone in your room trying to solve that particular code. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to have an account on Stack Overflow, of course. And here, this is my own account. Once you come here, it will bring you to this landing page. I'm going to go ahead and open my account and here, and here you can see that actually I got some pretty little uh, reputation about 3D and I've asked about six questions in total and uh, as a matter of fact all these questions have been answered. So how do I ask a question on this platform? Well, I can just come here and click on this question here and it will open this particular page for me and uh, if I come to this ask a questions and click on it, it will open a feed for me where I can ask a question. Well, if you don't ask, the, ask a question on Stack Overflow the right way, they will not allow you to publish the question, which is very, very annoying. So let me show you guys how you can ask a question here. First, we are going to navigate back to my code editor and let's try to hit a particular little error. And let me show you guys how you I can ask that question on Stack Overflow. Well, here I want to, let's just try to do something. Uh, let me just do, let's just try to print, um, um, a list of a list of range of uh, numbers and let's try to get uh, let's try to get a number that is not in the list and let's see the kind of error that it will bring so if I want to get that number I think even without printing it I should be able to hit that error so let me try to get 40 and let's see let's print it let me just run it yes Got that error, and the error here is a index error list out of range. This is a very perfect error to ask on Stack Overflow. So, how can I ask this question on Stack Overflow? Well, I can just come here. The question normally, the questions to be the heading should be very, very should be in relation with your the heading here. The title of that particular question should be in relation to your error. And I can just come here and copy that error and add it up with some write up. You say index list index out of range i can just copy that and uh i can just paste that here list index index error list index out of range uh uh I can just say uh got list let me just say let me just come here and add something up got list index I want beautiful, beautiful thing about this is as you're trying to ask that question, it's been recommending recommended uh because a lot of people have run into that code, that error as you just did. A lot of people have run into that error before, and those questions have been asked probably on Stack Overflow and they have been answered. So you could just suggest that to you and you go and click it and get the solution you want straightforward. But if you want to get a particular reply or answer relating to a particular error, you can just still go ahead and answer them say i can say got index error index error list out of range and code oh, oh, oh I, I could not leave it like this i, I could not leave it like this oh well, well, let me just say uh, list list return index error list out of range so let's leave it let's leave our title like this let's leave our title like this so let's come down to this place here well this is where the main thing goes if you don't ask this question say if you don't do this if you don't format this the right way you won't get that particular uh, answer i mean they won't allow you to publish your question so here is the first thing you can go ahead and copy a link and post it as well or an image or a, or a list or a block quote or, or quote or HTML or a table. Well, let me go ahead and explain this one after the other again. If you are coding in a language like HTML and CSS, where 
the code seems fine and you cannot just get the error you see everything here but you cannot just get the error but you know what you want to achieve and you are writing the code correctly but you cannot get the error what i advise you to do is you can just come here and screenshot it if i come back to this code editor here i press my print my windows key and print you should take a screenshot of this so you can just come here and screenshot it and explain what you want to get what what you're looking for at least at the title here and paste that particular image here people are going to read that particular code and be able to identify the error for you believe me so you can just come here and click on this image here and i will browse the image once i browse the image it will open my this thing for me and i can go there and select that particular image i have taken the screenshot and upload it there or another thing again i can do is let's cancel this another thing i can do is i can paste the code here and if you want to paste the code if you look down here they have given you an example if you want to paste code this uh back hyphen here you press three of them come down press three three of them again so here i can paste the code so here i can say this this is the code right then i can come here and copy that code i can come here and copy this code here and paste it within this uh, and once i do that it will format it down for you mind you as you are pasting it you'll be seeing the result down here i can you can see down here this is the code and the code i've pasted there and, I've, and, I've, and, I've, and it has appeared down here then if you want to paste the error message you can't paste it in the code anymore use something like this or this code this is a block code here you can use it press it or just press something like that and they cannot come here and copy this error this is the error this is the error look like you say list index out of range this was the error message and i can copy it and i'll come here once i paste it it will format down for me and here you can see this is the error message i got i seen it this is the code this is the error message but i have to write something up here then the error message i got trying trying to to get an int yes an int value from list so you see this is how it looks like this is the code this is the error i see how properly formatted it looks like you also make sure you learn how to format this particular um uh, questions here if you don't format it very well but try to at least pass this particular stage of you posting it and if it's not properly format formatted somebody else is going to attend to that they are going to help you format it very well then after you have done that then you need to target a language and this language it was it was in python you need to tag a language let's hold, hold on for it to load come on you bad network here I don't know what's wrong is reviewing my question let's see how it goes i'm sorry about that my network is not pretty uh good here so i'm getting that error um are you seeing it actually i'm going to fast okay well I, 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 it has already come up i was, I was going to fast forward it but it's come up so there's no need for fast forwarding it so here we can go ahead and review our question and you can see your question is ready to publish i seen it once you see this particular message here it means you have passed your particular uh code review and everything is okay so now i can go ahead and post questions so once i do that you see the question is posted and here you can see um list return index error list out of range and i say this is the code this is the error message i got if i leave this question on stack overflow in the next five minutes you will see that people will start replying to this but as a matter of fact i, I don't think i uh, really need this uh, particular question because it's very cheap it's something that I can, I can easily do so i can go ahead and delete it but believe me this is how you can ask questions on stack overflow so once those questions are being asked once once you get the particular desired answer you get let me go back to my questions and show you once you get the particular desired answer you get 
let me show you one particular question i asked here look at this let me show you this this is the question i posted and i got the answer so you are you i seen it and uh this was people's reply i seen it so people reply a lot of people reply to it and this reply will reply immediately i seen it this is how you can ask questions on stack overflow and get the first hand uh help you're looking for you don't need to stay in that room and remain so frustrating and looking for somebody to help you but not getting a particular reply you don't have to restart that particular project anymore are you are you getting me just come to start our flow and get a particular first hand help you need and uh if this video help you please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel feel free to hit the subscribe button if there's any procedure or process uh in this particular video that you don't understand go ahead and drop in the comment section and i'll be happy to help and if you're coding a particular language and you're finding it difficult to ask a question in that language on the stack overflow you can also ask me for a help and i'll be very glad and happy to help you uh for this section of the video that will be all thank you for watching stay blessed